how to get this woman to respect you. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Listen, as a fellow alpha, yeah, I may not be a man and I may not have your genitals. Uh, I like respect too. And so we're going to talk about how do you get people to respect you. And boy, I'm going to tell you how you don't do it as well. Um, and why it's actually important to us. Why, why us human beings, why men need to feel respected. We're going to talk about all of this. So if you are new here, you know what to do. Subscribe. I'm going to ask you for it. You're going to do it because you love me. How do you know I love you, Erica? Trust me. You do. You're just about to find out. And if you're reoccurring, thank you for being here, my darling. Make sure that you like this video. Um, also, if you are new here or if you're someone you've been watching my videos for a long time and you've never just pulled the trigger and done some coaching with me, then you know what? It's time. This is your sign. It's time. So reach out to me for coaching or if you want to do one of my online programs, because maybe you're afraid I'm going to bite you, uh, maybe I will, uh, then do those. They're all video courses and I, I love teaching this way. So if you love learning that way, then my online courses are for you. So I'll never forget. I, I remember speaking to a man one day and we were just, we were talking about respect and I can't even remember where this conversation was, but I remember his energy and it was to me it was so stupid <laughs> he was like well a woman should she should just respect me because i say so and you know i'm a polite person and i don't go around just giving free advice well i do on my youtube channel but in person is like no no no, no. you gonna pay me for that otherwise i'm throwing my pearls before a swine and this guy was a swine there was no way I was going to throw my pearls at him, but he was just like, a woman should just do that. Listen, that is such little boy scared energy. It's the same thing when women, when you hear women, well, a man should just, no man should just anything. Like none of us deserve anything from one another. It's something that we earn or it's an exchange because we want to. So. How do you make a woman actually want to have respect for you? Let's also talk about why it's so important. You're like, why do I need this? It makes us feel good. But here's the big word. Are you ready? The big word is this, valued. It starts with a V, valued. We feel valued. Human beings, we need to feel valued. You know, that doesn't go away. And if you think you're above that, then you're bullshitting yourself. We all need to feel valued. But listen, when it comes to our personal relationships, that is where it matters the most. I remember being in a relationship with a gentleman and I remember telling him, I said, listen, when I go out on the street, I get men to turn their heads and I, you know, it's, it's wonderful and it's great. And I get men all the time who say how beautiful I am and how chic I am. And I said, but none of that means shit. If it doesn't come from you, you are the one that I am choosing to do my life with. So when we're in relationship, that is such a vulnerable place of where we're like, I really need you to value me. And for men that is translated through respect. So how do you get a woman to actually want to respect you or as I would like to say, want to value you? So the first thing is it's going to be counterintuitive to you and you're going to be like, I don't want to do that. She should just give it to me. Well, you know what? You're going to make an ass out of yourself. So don't do that. Do this instead. When you show her appreciation, Listen, I know that that's what you want. I know you wish she were giving that, but someone has to go first. And don't be so ignorant and prideful that you, what's that saying? You cut off your nose to spite your face. Don't be ignorant and don't be arrogant. Sometimes we have to give what we want in order to receive, sowing and reaping. And so in the relationship, you need to step up and start really appreciating her. Look at the little things, send her text messages. Hey, I really appreciated the way you did that. Hey, I love the way that you had your makeup on because believe it or not, we 
bust our ass to look good for you. And yes, we do it for ourselves, but damn it, we do it for you. I don't care what women say, it's such bullshit. We definitely do it for men as well. I just do it for me. Oh, shut up. We do it for both. So listen, show her that you appreciate her. The second thing is this, it's, it's honoring your word. If you want a woman to on the inside, then, then go back on your word. Listen, that establishes trust with her. And the minute that you start negating or going back on your word, you start opening up Pandora's box for disrespect and rightly so, because a man is only as good as his word. What's the Scarface saying? I've only got my word and my balls or something like that. But you get what I'm saying. There's a lot of validity to that. So make sure that you are a man of your word. When you say you're gonna, if you say you're gonna take her out on a date, then you damn well better take her out on that date. If you say you're gonna call her before you go play basketball, then you better make sure that you do that. If you say you're going golfing and you're gonna be home by this time to have a bottle of wine with her, then damn it, be a man of your word. But that in itself will establish respect. And the minute that you start becoming weak with your word is when she starts becoming weak in her value for you. And the last thing that makes a woman respect you is a man who can be accountable. And I'm telling you what, this is some sexy shit. When you can own your mistakes, your wrongdoings, your, your, your shortcomings, those sort of things take tremendous humility and it requires meekness, which is strength under control. It's that silent warrior, it's that gentle warrior, but a still warrior that can go, I, I did this and this was not okay. What that does is it creates a precedence of safety. When a woman feels safe with you because you've shown her that you can be accountable for yourself and your shortcomings. It shows her that she can rely on you, that she can feel safe with you, and that she can trust you with her heart. And when we as human beings know that we are in safety and we can trust someone and that we're loved by them, the sky is the limit. You want your relationship to change? Start doing those three things. Listen, you have what it takes, but you know what? It's time for you to level up. It's time for you to become the king of your kingdom and quit running around like the pauper. Quit running around like the jokester and be the man that you were intended to be. You've got it. Now go forth and do it. You're loved and watch this video and let it support you. Leave me in the comment section. I'd love to read your thoughts.